All right, y'all, we are out here running the Stampede two-wheel drive and the Stampede four-wheel drive. That's actually the VXL 4x4. So I'm going to run them both on 2S, but the two-wheel drive, of course, has my JX system in. I'll be doing a speed test with this tomorrow on 2 and 3. So I'm kind of curious what kind of speeds we're going to get on that. But anyway, this is going to be just some general light running with these two. So let me go ahead. Let me get this set up and let's get these running. And first, of course get this two-wheel drive running it actually has some really good power and speed <laughs> even on 2s here I do have a ramp but I think I'm gonna try to take it off road and do some do some jumps with it real quick we've been getting some crazy weather here in Georgia lately 75 one day and then 60 the next and right now it's about 55 degrees even the geese are cheering it on they probably warning their boys like, hey man, <laughs> you out here running that thing again. They're probably gonna take off in a minute. But regardless, this is running good for not having any bearings or anything in it. Just an upgraded system. And this thing is actually pretty old, so. Let's see if we can get up here with it. Come on. See, that's where that four-wheel drive is gonna uh, actually come in handy. And I'm not gonna be doing no editing and all that. I'm just running this straight raw, y'all. I just wanted to get this out. Oh man, somebody's been out here doing some stuff, doing some donuts out there. <laughs> Look at that, it's going pretty good. Considering this is all stock, no changes or anything. Oh no, right down there. Now I gotta go down there and get it. <laughs> yeah, somebody went down here and uh, actually was doing some stuff. But anyway, it wasn't me. I didn't do it. <laughs> oh, look at that, pulling a wheelie off road. <laughs> I'm actually not gonna run them that long, but I did wanna get these both out and get them on video because I was wanting to get both of these in a video. I don't think I've ever done a video of both vehicles um, in the same video, a two-wheel drive and a four-wheel drive. If you guys don't know, the actual two-wheel drive VXL was my first brushless car. Jeez. Uh, God, a long time ago. I was doing pretty good on the job. So it was pretty interesting when I first got it. I think that was that was sheesh a long time ago. Now one thing about this, I can't control it in the air as I could a four-wheel drive when you guys will see the difference, but get up there. Come on. Let's try it again. Let's see if we can get this up here. There we go. Try to hit that at that angle. <laughs> I think if I hit it right here, I can get a little bit more air if I can get some power up. <laughs> Y'all, he's doing the best he can, Brush. He's doing the best he can. That didn't work out too well. <laughs> there we go. He's not doing too bad. I figure if you had some kids out there, you probably have some fun just going around and driving this. There we go. There we go. I went to get that last good jump in, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get the 4x4 four four out. We're going to run that. All right, 4x4 four four time. I will always, always love the 4x4 four four Stampede. I've just... It was actually my first... Um, my first four-wheel drive vehicle, believe it or not. Um, when it came out in 2009, man, I was, uh, <laughs> I was wanting this. And then when I first ran it, it comes with 11-2 pinion gear. I thought it was slow as I don't know what, because I had a Rustler two-wheel drive. And the reason why I got the 4x4 four is because I wanted it. We had been waiting a long time on one, but I had also uh, crashed my Rustler. Me and a friend was racing them and 
We had our rustlers on two on two S, but we had them geared with the high speed gear. I think we had a seventy six spur or something in them, and like a thirty five pinion gear. And we was racing, and I hit the curve, and my whole car exploded. It was crazy and fun, but not good at the same time because lipos and stuff were a lot more expensive back then. And I do have a, I do still have the high speed gear. I think it's a sixteen or something or 18 in here so but this is going good and this is brushless this is not brushed I do have a light kit that I have in my shopping cart that I have not purchased yet but I will so anyway let's take this off road get a little bit of dust and dirt on them see how easy that went up the curve Now we know the stock tires on here aren't the best in the world, but the four wheel drive does help in being lower to the ground. Ooh. Well, wasn't trying to do all that. And the notorious willy bar just came down. But we're gonna keep going because it's gonna just keep flopping down. I should have zip tied it, but. This is probably the last of the Stampede 4x4s. If you haven't gotten one, you want to get one new, you might want to try to find one. I got mine from, um, oh, I forgot the name of the hobby shop, but it was in Nevada, I think it was. And I might have lost a drive shaft. Let's see. Oh, no. So the notorious thing happened and barely jumping it. And you guys can see the way that's leaning. Guess what happened? I bet you my shock cap, which is notorious for these cars. Yep. Oh shoot, came, yeah. I lost the complete entire shock somewhere. Look at that. Now that's absolutely crazy. Oh no, the shock is still in there, but I got oil everywhere. You guys see that? But I did lose my freaking spring, so I don't know where that's at, which sucks. And that's been something that's always been bad with these um, Traxxas vehicles. I think they tried to improve them a little bit is that those shock caps are very, very weak on there. And you guys saw I wasn't even really run it hard and it basically popped off. So that is gonna end that run for this and these two vehicles. Uh, I'm gonna try to find that other spring. I doubt I'll be able to find it. But anyway, <laughs> that's gonna be a run. So I plan on getting some GTR shocks for it. So of course, if you get a Traxxas car, you can get the aluminum shock caps forward, but I just probably will go with the GTRs all the way around instead of doing it. We'll see. But anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos. Yeah, I'll probably drive like that for a second. So thanks, guys, for watching.